In this episode of Teachers Off Duty Podcast, we cover all the day one dramatics, the week one wonderments, all of the fun stories. We're going to be talking about Catholic school. We're going to be talking about kindergarten streakers. We're talking about this new concept of teacher rage rooms. You're going to hear more about the tour coming up and all the board teacher content you guys love. What's up, educators? This is your man, KC Mack. And Andrea Kaspari. Jay Yoder in the house. And we are this month's hosts for the brand new Teachers Off Duty podcast. That's right. Season four. You want more. We are here to give it to you at your front door. Hey. Bars. Boom. That's bars. I was and rhyming. Bars. That's <laughs> love it. <laughs> Drop a beat. Drop it. This brand new podcast, man. It's a, it's a remake, man. Because what's going to happen? Board teachers did something very special, man. They're opening the door to all the wonderful teacher comedians that they yeah. have on their roster. And they're going to be stopping by every month to give you this new podcast where we're just going to be sharing stories about stuff that happened in the classroom. We're going to be sharing stories about stuff that's happening on the road. And in the green room. The green room? Yes. Oh, it definitely goes down in the green room. And listen, speaking yeah. of the comedy tour, we're going to be in a city near you very soon. That's right. In the month of September. Get those. Tickets. It is definitely going down. We're going to be in Albuquerque, New Mexico, Tucson, Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, uh, uh, Anaheim, California. Disney. Flip it over. Sank, Saginaw, Michigan. Saginaw. Cincinnati, Ohio. Skokie, Illinois. Bloomington, Illinois. Riverside, Iowa. Hey. Northwood, Iowa. Rockford, Illinois. St. Louis, Missouri. Missouri. All that is going down in September. And if you want to get those tickets, we will have a link in the description right here. Bow. Blah, 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 blah. Back to school, yeah. back to laughter. That's what we're doing. Oh, yeah, we that, need it. That's what's so funny. That's what this episode is about. Horror stories from the first week. Yes. And a lot of people of are going back this week or they've been oh, back for man. a little bit. Yeah. September's that time. <sighs> oh. okay. Got that new pencil smell about it. I love it. Ticonderoga. To... Mm. Oh, can I have you a little bit? Smell a little bit of that? Okay. Freshly unsharpened. Okay. <laughs> unsharpened, the unsharpened masses. You see those ones it. that come sharpened now. You know, those are like weapons. Uh, like, I don't I don't mess with those. I, I low key uh, want to take these pencils. I've I've never had this opportunity had to have this many. many. That's what I'm saying. I've never, I've never seen that many in one spot. And they're no, the name brand. I, I don't know get why the, the kids take them because I want to take them. I get it. And then they play pencils. Oh, and then they break them. And then you're like, oh, and then they need a pencil. Well, that's what I do in front of my class. I just get it real close. I'm like, guys, don't test me. Uh, but the Tycheron, they're so strong. I can try to break that. it. You can yeah. I did. It. I legit. I legit. I tried to low key play it off that I was not trying my hardest, but I just tried my hardest. Nothing I love happened. it. Remember this? Remember this? Yeah. Can and they snap this them. is serious. No, don't do it. Don't waste the pencil. Don't. Pencil break, baby. I was a pencil break champ two years in a row, third year. Lisa, you got me that year, but listen, that's okay. I think she was on steroids. Uh, orange but, belt, <laughs> two stripes, 1992, <laughs> Tang Sudo. Uh, I couldn't look, you guys. An English teacher watching a pencil get broken. Yeah, you, you were really like, no, I know. I was like, no. Don't waste a pencil. I was trying to, to, I was trying to do year. that Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, back saw, kindergarten cop thing where I he got like, things around. Nothing. He tried it. I he wanted like, to. Oh, it was so cute. I wanted you could see, so far. You could see me struggling. Sweating. He was struggling. He was just in the corner like, oh, eh. I'm not a gym teacher. All right. First week, man. I know we all have our own set of horror stories from the first week. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right, who wants to dive in there, man? Who 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 has one? My favorite, my, my most embarrassing me. one, because I think a lot of it's just embarrassing. Because in the beginning, you're you're you want to be so professional, you want to be yeah. so perfect. Everything's got to be great. I'll never forget. I I was thrown to the wolves. My student teaching beginning of the year, they didn't even say. Most times they're like, "Oh, we'll let you watch me for a couple weeks." No, nope. yeah, no. I had to take period four. First day, so nervous, using an overhead projector, throwback. Ooh, dating I'm yourself. doing a mind map. I'm mind mapping why you should be studying a foreign language, yeah. making the bubbles. Yeah. We're making the connections. <laughs> yeah. 
and the heat from the bulb, my nerves, uh, I sweat and just started dripping down and erased the entire mind map. And they're everybody's just looking at me and I'm just like, they're just like, this guy is in it right now. He <laughs> is. I had to like go walk around the building, take a pace. I had to go change my shirt. Oh my gosh. I was, I was so embarrassed. Uh, but you know what? You just have to get back in there and you gotta, you gotta give it another swing. Yeah. Brother, as another fellow big man to another big man who also perspires. Yes. I feel your pain. <laughs> I feel you. But I have to laugh because I literally have a big girl story that is very similar. When I started in my district, the first day, I thought I was so cute. I had like a turquoise little silky shirt. And yeah. you guys, you, they always say to dress in layers, right? Every teacher dresses in layers. Yeah. Well, I hadn't gotten that memo. Okay. So here I am, first period, American lit. And I'm teaching and everything's going great, but I'm sweating profusely because I'm nervous and I'm bigger, la la la, right? Mm -hmm. A cheerleader comes up to me. I think she was a cheerleader, I don't know, but her name was Liz and I still keep in touch with her on Facebook, MySpace, whatever. Anyway, she came up to me and she was like, Miss Kaspari, Miss Kaspari, your entire back is wet. <laughs> was, I had soaked through the entire silk shirt I mean, it had dripped all the way through. It was so embarrassing. You guys, I had to teach backwards that day. Like, I was walking backwards. I was greeting everybody. <laughs> I never turned. I never turned to the board. I was writing like this and, like, walking like this. Guys, it was so embarrassing. And I had, there was no recourse. I didn't bring an extra shirt. I didn't anticipate that was going to happen. Wear layers, kids. At that point, I just would have had the custodian lay out that puke dust absorbent. Yes. You know? <laughs> On the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I just would have rolled around in it, just on my back. Just, oh, ah, yeah. everybody! You, hey, do everybody. they even do the puke dust absorbent anymore? No, that they well, do. My husband uses it. He's a school bus driver. Hey, baby, Barry. Now you. I haven't. I've like, never seen yeah, this. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't they um, do. They still. They still have it. They still do it. Yeah, they still on the bus. They do okay. when they up chuck on the bus. Now I'm from Scranton, so when we would do like parade day, and there would be like in some of the bars, they would clear out and they would put sawdust on the ground. Maybe it was that stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. sawdust. Like, and it just okay, yeah. that's what it was. That's what it is. Now so we did that preemptively. <laughs> yeah, so they put it on there, yeah, and then it like rocks up, and then they. Brushing into it with the little uh, dust. Yeah, it's like kitty litter. It's yeah. like, a, yeah, it's like yeah, kitty litter. Sense. Yeah. Puke dust absorber. Can you get that on Amazon? We're here puke learning. Dust, PDA, baby. Puke dust absorber. I'm a lifelong learner. I just learned something new. <laughs> That's good. Listen, well, we have our own stories that we're going to be sharing with you guys uh, this episode, but we also have some great stories that you guys submitted. Yeah. And again, you cannot make this stuff up. And if you want to send your stories in so yeah. that they can be read on the Teachers Off Duty podcast, make sure that you. Click right there in the link. There's going to be a link in the description down there as well. Please submit your stories because we need the material. Yes. So let's kick it off, man. Let's kick off one of what these stories. Who got one? Who got one? True story, they say, about my brother-in-law's tragic first day of teaching high school computer science. Now, they tell us this was back in the late 80s in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Shout out okay. to my Canadian friends. Don't they have that big mall? They have that big mall in Edmonton. They got to okay, have they a, do. Yeah. They have a huge... That's all I know about it. That's all you know? Yeah. Well, back in the a late 80s, this actually, one of the electric typewriters didn't work. This is going back. This is a throwback. Yeah. Can't even play Oregon Trail on that. <laughs> he called Shout out. one of the maintenance staff in to help, and they came into the classroom to try to fix it. Something went wrong. He hit an electrical connection, <sighs> and the maintenance worker pacemaker shorted out, and he died. Oh. I wish I were kidding. We, they said they were all shocked, and his brother-in-law continued to be a teacher after that, Oh, even though it seemed like a bad omen. Well, this is why yeah. districts need to get new equipment. We can't be having this coming in every time. You're trying to revive. What are these kids? You know, this is just too much. We need, we need, uh, we need to do better. This, yeah. this maintenance guy deserved better. Oh, Man. that was a bad omen. Yeah, when you die on the first day. Not that. <laughs> that's a, yeah, that's but a this is a long time ago. I always feel like I'm about this to die This was a long time ago. It was late 80s. Late 80s. Okay. Late 80s. Well, Pacemakers weren't that technologically sound. Hey. Maybe. My heart goes out to him. Ah. <laughs> oh, Casey. <laughs> Late 80s. Come it's on. Late 80s. Remove this too gentleman. soon. Is it too soon? That was too soon. <laughs> but wait, did you notice that part in there where uh, she said uh, we were all shocked? Come on. Uh, you see that? <laughs> it does. We were all shocked. We were all shocked. She beat us to the punch. <laughs> she got she Literally. Did. Yeah, that's not a good first day. This person wrote, I remember we had a first year teacher my freshman year, first period. 
he wanted to make a bold interest, so he walked into it was a freshman, uh, her first period. Uh, oh, so he wanted to make a bold entrance, entrance. So he walked into the class and jumped on the desk. Uh, problem was, this guy was incredibly tall. Oh, so he when he stood up, he fo- his head went through <laughs> the ceiling and broke the <laughs> tile. <laughs> I can no. tell you that he did get our attention, and we probably never, ever will forget that. So yeah, the night it. before he's watching Dead Poet Society, he's like, I'm going to get on a desk. I'm going to inspire the world. <laughs> yes. It's like, it's, like, it's like, what was he doing? Yeah, like he said, he's watching the movie getting pumped up. <laughs> yeah. He has this outfit laid on the bed. Oh. Like, yeah, I can't wait to kill him with this. I, I can, love ooh. it. This Wait, is this the perfect outfit to stand on a desk? Nah, let me use the plaid shirt instead. Yeah, oh, that's yes. it. Yeah, here we go. Woo. His tall studio apartment had plenty uh, of room. Yes. Oh, Not Captain. room 235. <laughs> oh, Captain, my Captain. And he just stands up. Oh, my God. That's some Robin Williams stuff. Has anyone ever like tried to do some kind of attention getting thing? either you or has a teacher done that for you all oh what in, in the classroom setting like or? in a classroom setting do you have any memories like in high school like a teacher doing that or have you ever like what's the weirdest thing you've done to get their attention i had a chemistry teacher uh who actually wrote the textbook super intimidating oh that's amazing uh, but his big thing was a back to the future thing so it was like he would put something on the table light a match and it would like flame up Ooh. like it was the I, I, that's the only thing I learned that year, but it was cool. That's cool. But see, you couldn't do that. These no, I had no idea right? what was happening, but it was cool. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> it got my attention. It got your, you used to remember it. Best I can remember is I had a, a teacher that mm-hmm. was an ex break dancer. So he used to uh, dance and oh. try to teach the class. If y'all would look <laughs> up here, you would see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that would be amazing. I love it. I would have loved that guy. We had, so I was just, I was seated in Mr. Packett's European history class. And I just remember um, he came in and he was like, I just need to get your attention. No, I need your attention. And he took a medieval battle axe and he just stuck it into this wooden desk that was ahead of me. Now I have to preface that there was nobody sitting in front of me. So that's good. But yeah, he like literally took an ax to the desk. Now, he took an ax to the desk. He took an ax to the desk. Fire. So this I can't is, even snap a pencil. This guy's breaking desks. So right. this is what I but this <laughs> is what I love. So I guess he did that all the time. Like that was like his icebreaker or whatever, like his little attention getter. But I mean, like you could not do that these days. Like you couldn't bring an ax. <laughs> but Mr. Packett could get away with anything. I think he still I wonder if he still does that. Mr. I'm friends with him on Facebook. More like Mr. Hackett. <laughs> <laughs> See what okay. I did there? Okay. See, I'm a comedian, too. I love it. This man is a professional. <laughs> yes, that's good. Mr. Hackett. Mr. Hackett. But, yeah. So, wait, 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 wait. But would it be a different desk every time? Because it, it No, it was like, the yeah. same. It didn't go all the way through. It didn't. I don't know. I mean, maybe it, it was. It like after so many years, it would just be like a pencil yeah. at this no, point it was just, just a, it was just like this older desk and he just boom boom and it got stuck in it and now he travels local carnivals I, with the mallet I, winning love, winning you know orange then, teddy bears he's a carny he's <laughs> yeah. have, he has no no fingers <laughs> he puts it in there and gets stuck and then he has a kid who has the strength of thor to <laughs> yes. take it the chosen that. one. Wouldn't it be cool if they set up a classroom like that as a rage room? Have you heard about these like rage rooms where I, I think most teachers would love to go, especially oh, after first school, just break stuff. and you just oh, and break, you break stuff. stuff. You pay oh, to Could you like, imagine yes. that? Just get an, a battle axe. And what if we set one up as a classroom with all like a, a fake copier that just kept jamming, Ooh. and we would just take like the JV baseball bats, and we would just go to town. Uh, I think we could make some money. This is very office space. That I is, like that. that is a yeah, d- PC load letter, and they'd start beating it. Yeah. No, you're playing, this but that is, is a great idea. I really think it is. I think like I just thought of it, and I was like, I think we need to market this. We need to have this. Would, this that is would, we could set that Shark up Tank. outside of Shark the Tank. outside of the theaters, and we could have a makeshift one, kind of like when they used to roll the car through the neighborhood, and like the yes. local football team yes. would let you take a yeah, hammer yeah, yeah, to yeah. it. All right, let's get this in the works. This I don't know good. if Jay. anybody. We got to get behind Damn. those these guys behind the scenes right now. You make sure you're I writing have. this down. This is hot info right here. I have always wanted to destroy a classroom. That would be cool. And, yeah. And not get fired for it. That's I serious. love it. Now, this is how you use some of your check. You have to pay a little bit, but you know what? It's worth it. It's worth it. We even put like, we even put like, I don't know. We can put a, all sorts of stuff in there. We can put the, a microwave in there. That we've <laughs> been micro- last- <laughs> the one The one that we were microwaving toe socks in. Yep, that's right. That's we a just, good place oh, to put God, it. That would be great. Last episode reference. Yes. <laughs> There will be. You guys, we're going to throw if Easter eggs go back in now. there. If you know, you, you know. Go back. If not, go back. If you, you don't know. It. Yeah, if you know, you know, right? What else you got? What else you got? What else we got? Oh, we got another story? What? I have one. All right, do it. All right, kids. Here we go. A reader 
writes in, one of our fans writes in, my first day teaching, I was at a Catholic school. Okay. I went to Catholic school. How was that? Uh, really, it was scary because the nuns, I used to have a nightmare about the, cause there were kids in my, there was a kid in my class who peed his pants in second grade. Oh crap. And they made him stand in front of the classroom and, and just crying as they waited for his mom to like bring another pair of like pants. Like, I'll never forget oh, this. Oh my gosh. I won't say his name. I still know his oh, name. Like no. that's how, but never, haven't seen the kid since, but just standing in front of the classroom crying. So I had such a fear, like my zipper broke on my pants one day. Oh crap. And I was so nervous to tell anybody like yeah. they were going to make me stand in front of the class. And uh, I was just, and so I would have a, a recurring nightmare about the principal who was a nun mm -hmm. that she was like, you know, going to like, do away with me i just didn't know why i was just so scared it's amazing yeah. how they can i think you know you don't realize the fear you can kind of put into kids but i was i was fearful i will never forget that yeah they put the fear of god in you I, right. I went to a catholic yeah. school uh one time and uh my principal she was a black nun and yeah. she had uh and she had this sign over her desk that said don't start none won't be none <laughs> Uh, oh my god. I should do like a, a nun movie like Barbie. <laughs> Everybody they got, they got nuns of all sorts. Yes, didn't you see Sister Act? <laughs> I was just gonna say Sister Act. We have seen oh my we goodness. have seen nuns of all. We will follow him. <sighs> nuns of all. I'm sorry. Oh um, no, you're golden. So full disclosure, I am not religious at all. Okay, so I'm still finishing the story. I love it. Now you guys are like, you're not? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. Okay. I got recruited three days before the start of school, so I was not prepared at all. Has anyone ever felt unprepared for the first Never, day? Never, not me. Oh, come on. I'm always ready. I'm always ready. ready. Um, as soon as I get ready, though, have you guys ever noticed that the second you have a seating chart ready to go, they add another kid? Have you ever? Always. Why is that? Just Every put time? them at the end. I wait, I wait till yeah. they actually, I don't do, I let them bury themselves. So, like, yeah. I don't do... I don't do the seating chart. I let them show me who not to sit them next to. Oh, okay. That's, that's smart. And I've even done some ones where I changed it every day and they had to like a task. Like they had to uh, set each other up um, tallest to shortest or by their birthday, but they couldn't speak. Like you create all these weird scenarios yeah. and then, and then eventually, uh, and then eventually by the second quarter, when you learn who they can't sit next to, then, then, because then, because yeah. I was, I, I would get so many new people. It wasn't worth it to have something set yet. You know no, what I mean? That's smart that's though. Real. You know, Keep Hey, maybe this podcast that, is full of tips. Tips. We're, we got tips. We, we have tips. tips. Tips and tricks. Cause don't we have over 50 years collectively experienced at teaching? this table, yes. at this yeah. table. Collectively. Well, okay. I'm in. So I, I was not prepared at all. It was a school connected to a church. First day there, a teacher next door asked me what time I was leaving with the kids for mass. And I was like, what mass? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Mass hysteria. Mass. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Apparently, there was an all school mass down the road at the other Catholic church. So I had to take. OK, this is where you're going to lose me. I can't. I had to take 32 eight-year-old children on a walk in the heat to this other church across a very busy street mama ducklings you just gotta grab a hand and oh lord but it's like i feel like those are like funerals like everybody just kind of knows like when i see a like when i see a summer you know camp counselor or something usually they have a rope yeah or something that they string them or at least they can hold on you get in to. trouble for that now but yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes like they're everybody holding it of their free tie will. each other up all Put right. on little pet leashes. Pet little little leashes. So anyway, um, it was not pleasant or smooth or in the job description. Oh crap! This, I mean, I can remember just the long walks because we had a school and then we had to walk four blocks on Church Street. Believe it or not, ah, uh, of course. And uh, and then we would go over to the church, have mass. I loved it because it was a break from the day. You got to go outside for a little bit, and then you then you had to go to church. But yeah. but still, it was a nice little break to the day. Yeah. Well, I, I've always taught and um, attended at public schools. So this, like, I can't, I, I could not imagine. And then the leading the 32 year, eight year olds, I couldn't do that. So this is only the first week and he had to do this the, the entire school year? This or? was the first day, the first day teaching I was at a Catholic school. So that's insane. And then after we finally got back from mass, sweat dried up and hands washed, the fire alarm went off. Ah! <laughs> Y'all well, ever of been just in the middle of a good lesson and the fire alarm goes off or just... It went, it's never a good time. No. They they actually start giving us heads up when it's coming. So when we know now, they give us an email like, hey, we're going to do a fire alarm today. This, this, yeah. this 
particular time or whatnot. So it kind of lets you know that, okay, I'm not doing anything. Now, of course, you don't tell the kids, but yeah. you just be like, everybody just sit down and be quiet. I know. Or that means watch. if it does go off, you're like, oh, this might be real. This I know. is not a drill. <laughs> That's right. This is not a drill. Well, That's funny. So you don't do anything. So I have block classes. And then if it's supposed to be at the end, do I just not do anything till the end? Oh, <laughs> they, they wait till the end? Yeah, they usually... They are sometimes. Sometimes we wait till it's like the staff's still there, but the buses have gone, and then they let us know, like, hey, you don't have to come back in the building or whatever. Oh, that's good. Which seems like it defeats the purpose of it, but you know, it's you know, we're just trying to guess. Every month you have to have one, make sure that the alarms work. Like yeah. some of it's just the logistics of it. It's not yeah. just. But I, I'll never forget, like when I was in high school. I was leaving for a doctor's appointment, and so I had walked out, and then as I had walked out, there was a fire alarm. Well, I got a, a cop had come up to me, and apparently he was asking me what I was doing. I showed him my slip, and he made he checked my hands, and I had like a pen that had exploded in my hand. Ooh. Well, apparently he brought me back into the office because the, somebody had pulled the fire alarm intentionally, oh, and that's yeah. why the fire We've alarm. Had that. And so apparently what there is, there was a substance on it that would catch you, kind of like if robbers take money. Right. There's like a yeah. name or the yeah. so apparently they would look suspicious because I I just had a hot a pen in my hot pocket and then, <laughs> as we and, you know and oh then, you had a hot pocket I, well, I wish Mr. I had a Yoda pocket. pulled alarm <laughs> ah, but did. I was just a kid I was terrified I was like I didn't do anything it was literally just uh, I was caught oh, that's when you was a kid I was a kid I was just oh, a student I thought you was a teacher <laughs> no I was a student <laughs> And He's I was been just, grading papers all day. Yeah, right. Now they're arresting. Him. And I just had this pen explode on me, but apparently that was the sign for like if if you had pulled it, they would leave a substance oh. on oh, your crap. hand. So what happened? Did they fig- so they were they let me? They realized it wasn't me, and that I was supposed to leave at that time, and it was coincidental. But it was just that awkwardness of I had no idea that if you pulled an alarm, it would leave a substance on you that yeah. they could kind of track. So I was like, oh, oh my gosh, cool. that would have been scary. So the fire alarm went off, and it was my first day, so I had no idea what to bring or where to exit. I had to ask the teacher next door. It was a hot mess. Yeah, okay. I, but this is my favorite part. I went home and cried over a bottle of red that night. Dude, have you had a fire alarm go off during your prep period? If I was on plan and the fire alarm, I'm I'm staying right there wherever I'm at. I don't care. We get in I'm trouble. If the, you got you have to I'm play dead there. though. You have to close mm. the door, make sure there are no windows. I'm a, if I'm in the bathroom, oh, I'm gonna trouble. hold my feet up so you can't <laughs> see. <laughs> I love. It. I'm I'm not doing it. And then, but see, we're just glad that they don't give the students the power like they give us during fire drills. Like if they don't see a teacher, then the kids can hold up a red card like, "Hey, yeah. Mister." <laughs> Is like, that's right. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. All that. Oh, but that would be so smart. Eight to ten of the people on plan, and they're looking. They're looking. Where's Mr. Getting the corner Mr. with Yoder? no sensor. You get in the Hold corner with the no rig. sensor, so that yeah. the light can't flip on. You hang tough, and wow. you just find. I used to work at a blockbuster when I was a young teacher. Yeah. And I would. There was a spot where I wanted to grade because it was so boring. It was like a Thursday night. There was one spot by the drop box. If you sat there and I could put my papers on the counter, Mm-mm. the camera could not see you there that's like so you always find those little spots where the camera cannot see you i graded my papers checked in the late movies nobody knew the wiser so if i stay in my room i'm getting some work done i don't i was if it's not like i'm responsible for kids out there i'm saying like if you're not responsible for kids now i gotta be careful because my principal gonna see this things and be like we're but, coming you know, for you what i heard was you had to have two jobs as a teacher that, oh my goodness see, i'm not into that but it's all of us do yeah every one of us we was comedians and Teachers yeah. at the same time. I was, I was an Uber shop. driver for a yeah. while before the pandemic. Yeah, I did. I did an Uber before too. Yep. Definitely did Uber yeah. before. But if, the fact that you did Blockbuster, that's hilarious. Because it's like you go from be kind and rewind. I love it. <laughs> to be kind and set your behind. Down. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and I love I, it. Like, free rentals, man. They were. We'd get them a week before they came out because oh. you got to be able to talk about them. You know, you got to yeah. preview. So I had my lesson plans ready. Yes. For when the customers would come in, we could talk about the outlay of the movie. You know. Transfer and then that skills. way I knew which movies to bring into class. You know what I mean? Like it was. <laughs> yeah. a- I love it. Why was it Pirates of the Caribbean? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Tie it in, baby. That is hilarious. Curricular. All right. Hilarious. Stories. Oh, we got, we got we plenty more, more stories. Got? Plenty more stories. Plenty more stories. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay, I got one. I got one. My middle school teacher got fired on the first day mm. of school for restraining a kid who was actively beating the crap out of another kid. Oh. In Canada, you're not allowed to restrain kids or touch them at all, even if they're fighting. All she yeah. did was pick him up. So uh, you got to do something. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I, you have to do something. I, one fight 
like two or three years into teaching, I was on a cart traveling between the classrooms. Oh, I know you were a Kartashian. I was a cart- so, and I'm like, it's a yeah. <laughs> I'm walking out and I turn to my left and all I see is this kid has grabbed another kid by his haunches, by his legs, and oh, he Dave. is ragdolling him Ooh. against the locker. And apparently what had happened is he just bumped into him and the one said, excuse me. Oh, okay. And the kid got mad that the other kid asked him to like say excuse me for but, bumping into him. Yeah. But y'all could break that fight up though, right? So what happened was when he loosened his grip on the haunches and the kid slid down and he tried to re-grip, mm-hmm. all I did was I ran in and I ran in and, gra- and bear hugged the kid that was being ragdolled and just started running down the hall. At the same time, the center from the football team oh. had ragdolled this. He was a wrestler, had, ra- had just ran at him, and we both went opposite directions, bear hugging the kids oh. until we got them both out of each other's distance. Oh, wow. But, like, we had to do something, you know what I mean? Like, But I've heard horror stories of people, like, getting in the middle of a fight and all the things that could happen. But I was just so grateful. It was a clean moment. I just ran and got the kid that was getting the crap beat out of him and just yeah. bear hugged him and ran him to the nurse. But in Canada, can't touch you him. cannot touch these kids. I can't, as a human being, but- sit there and watch another human being, especially if someone's clearly dominating. Yeah. There's got to be something. Yeah, we go back to that story. So she yeah. got fired for actually stopping it. Yeah. She was not allowed to touch so the kid. Why didn't they just say thank you and said they fired her? I agree. I don't think I she think should have been meant fired. To say thank you. But do you think that there can be an area in the middle where, like, I mean, there should have been room to negotiate on this because she was doing the right thing. Sometimes you just have to make that decision in a split second. And there should be, I do, I mean, they should protect the teacher. Well, or the educator, right? I don't know. At first, you know, I was kind of against it, but then I thought about it. I almost went to jail one time for pumping my own gas in New Jersey. So, uh, damn it, rules are rules. I love it. And you're like, and I'll take that. Yes, I will take I, I that. Did, you're I did. calling Natalie for bail. I did a spin kick to a kid in the face one time. Oh, Lord. Now, it was at karate. <laughs> Oh. And it was outside of school. Oh, but yeah. oh, but no, here's I the thing. Like, Dang, that's a weird first But day. here's the thing. That story lingered on for like the, my first five or six years, you know, when you don't really have the cred yet. Yeah. That was my street cred that I was like, Mr. Chuck Norris. Like, yeah. because and the, and you the, they, remind they me never of told, they never told the whole context. Yeah. And it worked out in my favor. So I never corrected them because you would walk in. I'd be like, oh, that's the guy that's been kicked a kid in the face. Oh, wow. And I'm like, it was at karate. He And I was doing a black, I was doing a test for the next belt. He was a black belt. I was only like a, an orange belt. Yeah. He zigged when he should have zagged. Boom. Caught my heel. Bought me but you had cred. that rep, though. Yeah, it you had that rep. Yeah, so rep. much streak. Because the story itself, when you tell the whole context, is so disappointing. Yeah. But. But it's always out I of context. I let that linger. And I'll tell you what, not a kid messed with me first five years of teaching. Tips for discipline. Um, we got a tons of tips. Tons of tips. Tons right. of tips. But, you know, we're, we're speaking about, you know, stories from the first week, right? Yeah. And so, like, when you're speaking about that, it's like that reinvention. Everybody has a new reinvented self. You, you get the right. opportunity to come back. So it's like, you know, it's so crazy. So, like, as we all go back, you know, the, a lot of the teachers right now are going to be going back this week. Clean slate. Uh, the, the craziest part about that first week is just getting everything together and yep. like you got to set expectations like yep. that first week everything mm. is expectations you yes. got to set the narrative yeah hey, you do. what you what are you going to do what are you going to do and yep. you got to constantly repeat those Reinforce. so you're not even getting into subject matter or anything instructions of anything except for expectations so what do you usually do your first week like what does that look like for you Okay, so I'm dying because the first thing, I totally believe that you're building a rapport. You have to have the rigor. Yes, that's going to come. But mm-hmm. I think you have to have the relationships. Mm-hmm. I like to build relationships. So the first thing that we do usually is I put kids together and they interview each other. And it's like, you know, where did you get your name? Um, you know, what? Uh, who are you? What, do you uh, what would you take to a desert island? Favorite candy? That mm-hmm. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But we also, one time I tried a new icebreaker. We don't do it anymore. It was this whole, my name is Andrea, and I'm taking an apple. And then we would go down the line, my name is Caitlin. And so you had to figure, you know, my name is, uh, it was, what am I taking on a picnic? My name is Caitlin, and I'm taking, you know, crackers. And my name is Jimmy, and I'm taking um, Geronimo. I don't know what they're taking. But I, okay, so there was this kid, and God rest his soul. I love this kid, Derek Vong. So Derek said, my name is Derek, and I'm taking the D. (laughs) And this was 10 years ago. 
<laughs> I didn't know what that meant. And the kids would just howl every time because he was one of the first people in the circle and you had to repeat the whole thing every time. Mm -hmm. And I was first. So I was constantly saying, my name is Andrea and I'm taking an apple and this is Derek and he's taking the D. No. And I had... <laughs> <laughs> and he just, oh, and the class would just die. And I kept saying, what does that mean? You guys have to tell me. And this was like a decade ago. Oh, that's one right? Because before it was like, now I'm like, oh, now I'm mortified. But no. I, you know, and I was like, I'm Andrea and I'm, ta you know, and Derek's taking the D. And you guys, <laughs> it's like study, just, she's like, study harder, Derek. Okay. Study harder. You and you guys, and there were 30 kids in this room. So I had to say that 30 times. So that's, I was 31st. That's one hell of a first week. I changed the game again because I started instead of that boring like sit down and here are my rules first day i send out now a video of me uh with that kind of presentation of what i would talk about and i send that as like an alert out to all the families the week before school oh wow so then that way they see me they hear me they can watch it with their parents yeah. you know their whisper down the lane never makes it and yeah. if i load it as a as like a youtube video and i can see it how many views it got see if people yeah. watch it not everybody might not get it so i have to reiterate it but now i felt like i i took a lot of the fear of the kids out of there they get yeah. to see me they get to hear me crack some jokes whatever and they get to know me the parents feel like they know me and i feel yeah. like i bought so much rapport and so much stuff since i do I, i'll do that for every year now yeah because like they come in they say oh we feel like we know you we feel like yeah. we've seen you because otherwise you're waiting for meet the teacher night which i don't know how you guys do it but usually about three weeks in is when we have back to school night yeah. so now they've already seen me for three weeks yeah. and i feel like that's something that i do all the time that i felt bought me tons of rapport that's so you really do cool. you do a video a video i do like a slides presentation so yeah. i have like me and then my family you know everything yeah. about me and i'll baby. switch the slides and yeah. all that good stuff that's really cool yeah first weeks i'm telling you man this, this, yes. this is exciting stuff i hope you're taking notes friends listen to this we got, we got another story? I got a crazy story that came oh, that it's, it's a short it. sweet one but it's, it's crazy a what parent brought in her one-year-old while dropping off her older daughter to kindergarten okay placed the baby in the teacher's arms oh but then was like, hey, if you don't mind, I just need to go run some errands real quick. Oh. I should be back in an hour, tops. You don't mind, do you? Uh, Wait. Uh-uh. Wait, no, no. For the sake, I'm, I'm, <coughs> I'm, 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 I could have swore I heard you read something totally different. I'm going to need you to read that again. Oh, yeah. Please. She said, hey, if you don't mind, I'm just going to go run some errands real quick. I should be back in an hour, tops. You don't mind, do you? Here's his diaper bag if he needs a change and some breast milk I pumped for you. Ooh. I was no. like, she's Extra like, uh, that's exactly what I no, thought ma'am, take that's, your baby. This is not a daycare. That's exactly ah. what I thought you were. That's what they, are, you, are you crazy or something? Like she honestly, I, I feel like parents do that all the time with stuff where they're like, oh, they're a practice. I'm going to come pick them up an hour later. Yeah. Oh, great. Then I don't get home for dinner with my family because you needed another hour. That's like, so what true. Are we doing here? That's so true. Heck no. It's like, what's yeah, one that's more? that's going to be a no from me, dog. Heck no. Please never bring a baby and put it in my hands. Because <laughs> it's, 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 it's not Full gonna, stop. Full stop. It's definitely not going to be the same baby that you come back and get. If I do decide... Because <laughs> what I mean by that is, because I'm going to put that baby to work. He's going to be watching some of them kids. Sharpening pencils. Sharpening pencils. Yep. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> He's going to be teaching some rigor. Right. <laughs> He's going to be my new TA. Some differentiation. And you got to bring him every day because I, I have stuff for him. He's going to be putting up your bulletin board. She's going to come back. That baby going to be stressed. He's going to be smoking a cigarette. <laughs> By the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> this has been one hell of a morning, Ma. Oh. <laughs> I have another one. You want to do said, yours? Uh, yeah. First day of kindergarten, um, I have the kids all come in and wash their hands as soon as they walk in. They line up, hang their bags up. And line up in front of the bathroom and wait their turn. Now, I had this one particular kid that keeps asking specific questions, you know, stuff like, uh, how many seconds am I supposed to wash my hands? Uh, what side of the door open? If somebody's in there longer than four minutes, should I call 911? Uh. She said that she responded politely because she was amused by his curiosity. Mm -hmm. uh, when it was his turn and five minutes had passed, he was still in the restroom. She said she knocked on the door and no answer. She started panicking and started calling him by his name. He finally opens up the door, sprints out. What? The stall, butt oh, no. naked, no, head oh. to toe, head to toe, and storms out Soup of the classroom. <laughs> Sorry, wait, oh, that's not okay. But, but, it gets worse. Not only does he go out the classroom, but he goes onto the playground. 
he, he proceeds to streak his way to the baseball field, except now he has two teachers and a PE coach and a security guard running after him. They finally catch up to him, bring him back inside, and they called his parents. And when interviewed, they asked the, they asked the question with the parents present. And the kids said, like, why did you do this? And the kids oh, no. said, well, the teacher never said this was against the rules. <laughs> what? You got to be specific. You got to read the fine print. I thought when you said that when the first part of that story came out, I was like, he's been in there five minutes. He's gone. Like he Shawshanked his way yes. out of the bathroom. And now he was on his way to freedom. <laughs> oh, <I love> it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to catch a child. Oh, yeah, it, was like a, no, it was a I'm kindergarten. We're good. I would have just let him run. What's what happened? You get a reaction. He must have done that like a bath time at home, ran oh, around the house, yes. got a huge reaction because that's what the problem. You react and they get, I realized when I was in I was probably in preschool, it wasn't even kindergarten. I had this habit of walking around with the middle finger up. Must have saw it somewhere, sure. and I would get such attention <laughs> from it At that I would do it all the time. Yeah, and so like, oh, yeah. I think that's what happens. Like I was walking around flipping people off, and <laughs> and, and and I would get such attention. That I'm like, oh, I'm gonna keep doing this. This is oh, great. Yeah. Until, until my grandma found me, and I, grandma didn't play. That, and you don't even have a middle finger. No, not mm. anymore. That. If that spoon didn't me, just would... serve soup, my friends. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Let's get into one more story. I okay, we got time I gotta... for one more. Jay, do you have one? Because I Ooh, have I a do. fun one. Okay, okay, I'll do after you. It was right after summer vacation had ended, and I was trying to get back my teacher voice. Oh, you know that voice. All right. Yeah. I was lecturing the class, and I started choking because my throat was so dry. I always forget to drink enough water, especially the first weeks back. Yeah. I, I oh, yeah. You, there's, no, there's not enough. She's like, I, I looked now. for peppermint or lifesavers in my bag, but had neither. In desperation... I looked out at my high school students and said, does anybody have anything I can suck on? <laughs> oh. Oh. The entire room went into silent shock. <laughs> yeah, I was like... <laughs> and uh, Derek was like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I, was like I was literally about to say... <laughs> Derek's like, I'm going I on a picture. I literally about to say, <laughs> <laughs> I got something to suck He's on. Like, you better oh. be talking about an apple. <laughs> Derek, I love it. <laughs> Derek said, <laughs> You got another one, Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do. Oh, Lord. This one, okay, guys, like, I just have to preface, like, this is about wasps. Okay. Like, and I wait, just can't. Wait, what, what Anglo Saxon? No. No. Okay, ah. no <laughs> the stingy kind. Oh, well. And even just seeing the words making me cringe, but we got okay, this. What you got? So we had a wasp invasion on our first day back after summer. So that's going to be a no from me, dog. The teacher next door opened up her window to air out her classroom and knocked down a wasp's nest outside. Okay. Mm. Like, no, let's not. They started swarming into her room and she panicked, ran out into the hallway screaming and slammed the door. Okay. The loud bang and terrorized shrieking scared the crap out of me. But thankfully, it was early in the morning before the kids got in. Mm -hmm. The custodians called pest control and were able to get them all out before school started. So this, so my question for you guys, have you guys ever had like a pest issue? um in your school because we always have like we've had roaches in the past and and mice mice were a thing i will say in my school when you report like the natural things that happen during the seasons you know mm -hmm. whatever I, I emailed the one i was in a different building and i was like hey i'm i'm seeing some ants you mm -hmm. know by the window and i mm -hmm. said there's no food in here so nobody believes me but i promise you there's no food in my yeah. classroom and she's they like oh yeah you that. just got to come down and put it in the bug book oh you so had like a bug they book? have a book they have a book where they keep log and they call it the bug book and i just found that do they hysterical. keep ants on a log uh, <laughs> <laughs> i'll be here she's all a week. comedian i'll be here all week try the veal <laughs> yes uh but yeah so they call it the bug book and that's where they keep the track for when the guy comes in to say oh room 183 says there's ants but i just found it funny there was a bug book but i find it funny and i also don't think anyone checks the bug book i just want you to know no like, that like, doesn't yeah. sound that doesn't sound efficient <laughs> at all book. in 2023 but that's do you know that i was never i was never stung by a bee until i was like 35 years old oh wow we had a scenario where a field hockey a field hockey player had gotten stung during a game 
And the, you know, like she had gotten frantic when she knocked that wasp thing over. Yeah. Well, this, the coach had gotten so frantic, he ran over because he knew she was allergic. Yeah. Ran and was like, oh, because you, you know, you always prep and you're like, oh, but you, when the moment happens, you yeah. find out. Well, he found out that uh, there was a certain end of the EpiPen that was supposed to go in her leg. Oh, no. And a certain end that oh, was supposed snap. to go and in his thumb. His thumb. Oh, no. And he jabbed down and he jabbed the epinephrine into his thumb. No. Or, yeah. Oh my god. Luckily there's the you could reload, but like, Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, he went the wrong way and it went right through his thumb. Oh my god. Okay, that sounds scary. <laughs> and I'm just sitting here going, each one of those is six hundred bucks. Oh, is that true? <laughs> yeah, did you that's know? Like, like, that's like losing a school bucks. key. I that's get nervous about losing a school key as they throw those numbers wait, around. You, I still have wait, a set of school keys the, from the, my old school. It the teacher inside, you jumped out real quick. Wait a minute, that's $600. No, $600. Yeah, that's right. She's like, we can't afford that. We should be wasting $600 on the arm <laughs> <It's> salary. <laughs> I know. First, you're breaking pencils, and now this. Yeah, these are the real ones. It's like These are like using Crayola crayons. We're over here breaking the all knockoff brand. I'd be going yeah. to Buffalo Wild Wings stealing all the crayons from the free kids. I'm like... <laughs> Can I bring these into my classroom? <laughs> all right. So this one. On the first day of school, two teachers didn't show up. Okay. And uh, we all had to split their classes between the rest of the teachers. We've had mm. to do it. I was a first year teacher, and this was the most stressful day of school I've ever had. Okay. For sure. Turns out the teachers had accepted jobs at another school without warning our school. Yep. Mm. Wasn't until five weeks that they were able to find replacements. And we all had to cover and told that. Oh, my gosh. I left after that year with a better understanding of why those teachers didn't show up. Oh, scandalous. That's scandalous. Oh. She's but, telling you. But can, that's duty. That's they could have been in the same district because you can't leave. Uh, you can't like take another position in our district unless it's like a promotion. It can't be a lateral. You can't break your contract like that. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. you can't do it. But yeah. if you go to a whole other district, let's say because you're moving or whatever, that's the only way but that you're dirty. able. It's like that's like just yeah. dirty. Like because you're 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 not at that point just yourself. Now you've affected a whole building. Yep. All these right. other teachers right. taking an extra thing. For you, because you made a decision. Right. And yeah. Then the first week, you gotta tell you, you couldn't send that email out to everybody. You know that email that you sent out. Yeah. It's been a great pleasure working with all of you yeah. guys. I've learned so much. I've grown so much. Oh. And I just want to say that I am moving on to. You know, you oh gotta get that. The, the the we need to do the AI. I want an AI resignation letter. <laughs> I I will miss you I so much. That. Me miss you all the time. Long time. All right. Anyway. Nah, but that that that's your first week, man. These are the crazy stories that has happened the first week like yeah. i said we got a lot of teachers out there that are actually about to start their first week yeah and just listen happy man first week back, happy y'all. first week man yep. thank uh, you for what you do um, i hope you had a great summer and just get in there and get ready to do it again i mean we have another uh first nine weeks to get your kids together teach everything that you need to yep. teach them and first of all first week find your click find them definitely uh, yeah. get reunited with them because those are the people that's going to help you get through this school year yeah you know and your just, brunch friend and just one day ahead of the kids you just got to be one day ahead of the kids don't yeah. get all don't be doing your month's lesson plan you're going to change that lesson one day ahead of the kids yeah yes. go to lunch don't sit in your classroom find a friend find a bestie and come out to a come out to a comedy show while oh, you're at a teacher it. bestie yes and then come out to a comedy show Definitely. Like you said, because this is what you need actually to get. Matter of fact, we I can't remember where we at, but uh, uh, it was like last week on tour, and they had it started that first week, and it was like this is what we needed to start our first week. Was off it right. Fargo? I thought yeah, it was in yeah, Fargo. Yeah, it was in Fargo. Fargo. They yes. needed. We they shout would, out that was the cutest town. Fargo, ever. North Dakota. Yes, definitely. Fargo was the adorbs. We all need this. We need to laugh. Back to school. Yes. Back to laugh. Need to laugh. So have a great school year, guys, and um, remember, hey. We need you. Them kids need you. Yeah. We, and y'all need us to make you laugh to get through this school year. Yeah, you got to come back, <laughs> tune in. <laughs> Tell them where they can find you. So you can find me at Kaspari Land on Instagram, C A S P as in Paul, A R I Land, um, or Kaspari Land Comedy on uh, TikTok because I couldn't get back into Kaspari Land. So it's Kaspari Land Comedy. I had to start a new TikTok. So just do that. I like how you spelled it out, even though it's right here. Okay, well, but, for the but listeners. The listener. <laughs> no, but we have oh, the heads the up listeners. that we have listeners. Oh, 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 you, you know, me. and y'all know we all process differently. For This was for our auditory learners. Oh, okay. oh that indeed. was adorable. Well, Thank that's you so very much. Hey, I'm a teacher, you know. man, 20 years in. Yeah, well, you can find me at J Yoder Comedy, at J A Y Yoder, at any of the platforms. Uh, you know, we'll make you laugh, we'll keep you going. Yep.
And you can follow me at KC Mac Funny, letter K, letter C, M A C K Funny. Yes. On all platforms. And since we are following people, people, why don't you go ahead and follow the good people at the Teachers Off Duty Podcast on all social media platforms? You can also follow Board Teachers on all social media platforms. And listen, uh, they're doing something special this time. They got the behind the scenes, right? Behind the scenes exclusive footage. You get access to this footage. Yes. And and the behind the scenes uh, consists of what? Like stuff that happens the in green the green room, room the green traveling, room. Uh, on the road. Yes, on the exactly. road. On the road visiting the cities. Yes. A lot of times yes. they, they tra- trail us, so we do the city visit. A lot of fun games that we're going to be playing. It's yes. very interactive. So you don't want to miss that. And how you get uh, access to this, you got to go on to the T. OD teachers off duty premium on supercast oh yeah so listen we thank you guys and we can't wait to see you again next week for another installment of the teachers off duty podcast Yay. the board teachers company tour take over take over hey. see you next time